let's take a look at this IKEA color pencil set really simple packaging you get 10 pencils with a sharpener when you wanna blend them with a brush some warning info in a different languages pencil length is 12 centimeter thickness is 1 centimeter this costs around uh, 299 rupees or uh, 4 dollars or so so let's see what we get That's how the sharpener looks, that's how the pencil looks, quite thick and I really like the clean design. Nice colors, works quite well, quite a clean pencil set from IKEA, quite nice, check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, pita chips, these are by Spritely, smoked tomato and uh, herbs, 100% vegan friendly, no MSG, all natural raw materials, zero cholesterol. Ingredients are wheat flour, tomato powder, yeast, salt, onion powder, red chili powder, dried mixed herb, oregano, dill, rosemary and uh, basil, zero trans fats, zero cholesterol, no hydrogenated oil, 100% vegan friendly, costs around uh, 50 rupees or uh, 80 cents or so. This is manufactured by Snacko Delight in uh, Maharashtra, India. Some of the recommendations. So let's taste it. That's how it looks. Has a lot of seasoning. Let's taste it. That's really amazing. You get a crunchy texture, nice tomato and uh, herbs flavor and it's seasoned uh, really well as you can see. Really flavorful. Tastes like uh, eating a crunchy pizza crust. Quite nice. Check it out. This is the digital table. So this is at a Singapore art museum where you can actually plan the city by moving physical objects like these uh, train stations or these houses As you move them, the display keeps changing.
these interesting uh, waterways. And you also get a 3D view of your work. And you control that using these uh, blocks. Which is the helicopter view. Really interactive and uh, quite fun. That's how our river looks. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, cheese curry noodles. It's from Cup Noodles. Costs around uh, 200 rupees or around uh, $3 or so. Has about 414 calories. So let's make some. Those white cubes that are pieces of cheese. That's how it looks. You have to mix it up a bit. So let's taste it. It's really cheesy, goes really well with noodles. I wouldn't have thought of putting these two flavors together. Nice curry flavor too, quite nice. Check it out. Any idea what this is? The clue is there are 54 of them. Let's take a look at these uh, travel playing cards. Found these at a uh, We The People store in uh, Singapore. Really interesting size. Made in Taiwan. Costs around uh, 850 rupees or uh, 12 dollars or so. These are called uh, Air Deck. You get 54 playing cards. Casino quality, travel friendly. Waterproof, lightweight, and uh, extra durable, and really tiny. That's how this look. Needs a little bit time to get used to the size of it. That's how the queen looks. That's the king. Joker. That's the jack. And uh, you get the regular stuff. There is definitely a learning curve using these uh, cards. When you are trying to shuffle the whole deck, it's a bit complicated. 
but uh, when you are uh, holding few cards it's really easy and you can do it with a uh, few fingers and the cards are uh, made out of those uh, plastic like paper Quite nice. Check it out. Let's see if you can guess the card I will pick. Did you get it? One more try. Let's take a look at these uh, dry roasted cashews tangy and a chili garlic flavor that's pepper and onion flavor no cholesterol no preservatives you get 150 grams dry roast and cashews with a hints of chili and garlic this costs around 298 rupees or five dollars or so ingredients are cashew nut cane sugar chili pepper garlic powder glucose olivers in paprika so let's taste this That's how the cashew looks, nicely coated in a chili and garlic. Let's taste it. Chili has a kick to it. It has a hint of tanginess and a garlic flavor. Goes really well with the cashew. Quite tasty. This is the pepper and onion one. Similarly priced looks like similar ingredients so let's taste it really nice pepper and uh, onion flavor with a hint of sweetness goes really well with the uh, cashew both the flavors are uh, really amazing it's tough to choose between them i think i would go with the chili garlic but that's really good too quite nice check it out saw this yawn tv at a hotel in a Singapore in your room on the TV they have a channel called uh, Yawn TV which shows uh, people yawning to really nice music and that's the only thing on the channel you can't fall asleep you can uh, put this on and slowly drift to sleep such an amazing idea I think there should be a channel called uh, Smile TV where uh, it just shows people smiling. 
so when you send you can just put the channel on and uh, smile it's a really fun idea and uh, i think quite useful too quite nice check it out let's take a look at this chandol mcflurry it's a special seasonal item in a singapore mcdonald's costs around uh, 150 rupees or uh, two dollars or so you get these uh, green jelly made out of rice flour and the mcflurry has this uh, brown sauce which is a uh, roasted uh, coconut roasted coconut makes it a really unique mcflurry The jelly gives it a really interesting texture. I think this was a limited time thing. Tastes really good. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Harvey Norman store at a millennial walk. In uh, Singapore, some really interesting products. That kitchen range is by Dolce and Gabbana. They have a lot of interesting products. Amazing dressing kit. really interesting looking curved TV and some fun looking fans on this tower fan you can individually move the smaller ones. Really beautiful store with an amazing selection. I'm guessing some kind of regenerative power from washing machine. They had uh, three floors. I only had time to see the gadget stuff. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this e checkup drink stall. They have some really interesting drinks. Each of these costs around uh, 150 rupees or uh, two dollars or so. This is fresh lemon with Earl Grey and uh, passion fruit. Boba. And this one has honey lemon AU, which is a type of jelly. So let's taste it. The honey lemon is very refreshing. And the jelly gives it a unique texture, really nice lemon flavor. So let's taste this one. The Earl Grey with lemon is even more amazing than the other one. Very refreshing, such an amazing tea flavor and that's how the passion fruit Boba looks while drinking it you get a burst of passion fruit which takes it to the next level the Earl Grey one is the best of these quite nice check it out let's take a look at this Lego catalog it's 
some of the really interesting Duplo sets. I think I need to at least check one of them out. Looks like they have uh, quite a lot of sets. That's a balancing game. Some of them are bigger sets. They even have a train set with really interesting action bricks. This one makes a music sound when the train goes over it. And it has a push and go motor. Some Disney and Marvel stuff. They even have a Lego movie one. Some kind of app integration. These are the Lego Junior sets. And some classic bricks. Some interesting creator sets. This looks really interesting. Another interesting creator set where you can make a drone and a plane. This is a pirate roller coaster. Looks quite fun. Some Disney princess sets. This one looks nice. Rapunzel one looks really small. You get a minifigure with a hairbrush and a tiny castle. I think it should have been a bit taller. New heart shaped uh, box set from Lego Friends. You get a heart shaped box with a minifigure interesting some of the other stuff these are for a Lego city nice fiber headset These are the sky police. Interesting to see the inclusion of parachute. The harvester looks interesting. The snow groomer comes with a snow cannon. This is the new train set. Looks kind of dull though. It's a passenger train. Some Arctic expedition sets. Lego movie minifigures. Some of the Lego movie sets, all of them are really expensive though. This looks really colorful. Queen whatever's build whatever box. I think it's just a set with uh, some random colorful blocks. The pop-up party bus looks quite interesting. Some Spider-Man stuff. Hulkbuster. Oh, Speed Champion stuff. Some Ninjago stuff.
quite surprised they are uh, still making Harry Potter sets. Look like it includes a lot more pieces. I really would love to know how many of these were sold versus the Star Wars sets. Some Star Wars stuff. There are new robot system, Lego Boost, Lego Technic stuff. Not a big fan of these. I really like the smoother finish than uh, this look. If you remember, I did a review of Lego Technic sets with a similar mechanism takes too many batteries and uh, quite a complicated build too some really interesting lego sets quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, rice crackers these have sesame butter in them rice crackers with the sesame vegetarian product really clean packaging it's natch delicious naturally these are manufactured in uh, Thailand costs around uh, 100 rupees or a uh, dollar and fifty cents this has about 150 calories a perfectly toasted uh, crunchy cracker made with uh, Thai sticky rice and uh, black sesame this buttery bite will become your new obsession ingredients are uh, Thai rice black sesame butter sugar and uh, salt it's vegan no trans fat no gmo no preservatives no dairy no gluten no artificial anything so let's taste it Looks like you get about uh, 15 pieces. Seems a bit expensive. So let's taste it. Nice and uh, crunchy. It's a really nice rice cracker. The sesame and uh, butter gives it a really nice flavor. Even though they are uh, bite sized, they pack in a lot of flavor. Quite nice. Check it out.